Um, I'll start. Uh, it's definitely a lot different. A lot of uh, our play is different. We're learning a lot of new things that a lot of people on our team haven't um, done before at this level yet. Um, so it's it's a hard adjustment, adjustment, but I think we're doing pretty well taking it in so far. I think we have a, lot, a long way to go, but I think we've done pretty well um, so far taking it in from this summer and even this spring and bringing it into the fall. Um, I agree with Larissa. It's a lot of new drills, um, new mindsets, switching from offensive mindset to a defensive mindset. Um, it's going to take time, um, and we'll use the non-conference to get ready for and prepare for conference play and so we can come in strong. You know. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think uh, patience is is important as we're going through the process, and and, and it, it is a it is a, a change for for them. Some of the things that we're doing, there's a lot of different ways to win basketball it, it, um, games. It, it's this just happens to be our approach to it, and and uh, I think the biggest thing is just continuing to get more and more buy-in from from the team. They've been great from from the start. Um, been very accepting of our staff and the things that we're trying to do uh, with them. They're very coachable, um, but uh, but but there's a lot. Every, everything's new. Terminology's new. Style of play is new. Um, and, and so as we're going through that process, we just have to apply some patience to that. Um, be equally demanding and patient at the same time. And and uh, they've showed uh, some significant progress from the start. Um, from, from where we where we started this summer um, at Ground Zero, so um, I've been pleased with with that. Are, are you a coach that uh, has a specific style that you want to play no matter what, or do you kind of alter that a little bit based on who you have, especially in this situation where you're first year first year back? I've always been, you know, trying. There's there's some basics, some principles that we're gonna we're gonna always um, coach from that standpoint of. We, we've we've got to be able to be good in half court defense, uh, as they say. Defense travels uh, when your shot's not. We talked about that today. In fact, when your shot's not going down, you have to be able to rely on something game in and game out. And, and, and the defensive end of the floor in the half court is where you have to be able to get stops and make it difficult for teams to score. Um, that'll always be a staple of our programs. Um, some of the offensive execution things that we're trying to do will be based on our personnel from year to year. With this group, it's important for us to be able to to score the ball in ways that they're comfortable and 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 that certainly speaks to their skill set um, as players. Um, so so we typically try and adjust from year to year, but there'll be some things from from a principal standpoint that that'll be the same every year. Can you talk about just having? Oh right, yeah. I, th I think it's great. Obviously, they both have played major minutes in the college college game. They're they're very familiar with the MAC conference and 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 what successful basketball looks like. Um, they've played against high level teams uh, in this league and in the non conference, and so with that should come le a level of confidence. They both have been successful players already at the college level, and. Um, and with that, hopefully we can just continue to breed more and more confidence. I think the, the biggest shift for them has been from, from the offensive de side of the ball to the defensive side. It, they're, they're very talented offensive players, but now we're kind of demanding some new things from them from the defensive side of the ball. And, um, and I, I think they're, they're just going to continue to get better and better defensively and become more and more complete players. The, these two have the ability to be two of the better players in the conference, without a doubt. Um, but we, we're just trying to you know, help them continue to grow into more complete players at both ends of the floor. Have you changed the way they've been used a little bit? I kind of into that a little bit. Yeah, a little, yeah, a little bit. I think I think uh, there, there's some things inside each of their skill sets that we're trying to 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 utilize more, get the ball to them in different areas of the court than maybe they were um, they were used to. Um, you know, trying to utilize uh, Larissa's ability to really shoot the ball and stretch the floor, but then she's got to continue to get better at, at, at shot fake, using shot fakes to get by people and pass fakes to, to utilize um, uh, to her ability to score on different, different areas of the court. Uh, you know, and Jordan is a very good three-point shooter for a post player, and so um, we, we want teams to have to defend her on all three levels, you know, around the basket as she's, she's accustomed to scoring in the mid-range in her face-up game if teams zone us or, or even in, in her ability to screen in some of our, our, our man sets. But then she can stretch the floor um, and bring post players away from the basket because she can shoot the three as well. Chris and Jordan, what 
have you guys worked on individually? How are you a different player in person than you were uh, this time last year, or in the last season? Um, for me, it's becoming more consistent um, at shooting. For, so I can stretch, like he said, stretch the defense out. So just been working on um, three-point shots. And, and then for me, I have to work on defense. So um, rebounding and just committing to that end of the floor and becoming a better player. Uh, I agree with Jordan. I think consistency is one of the biggest things that I have to continue to work on. Um, and when my shots aren't falling, I have to rely on my defense um, more than I have in the past. And um, there's going to be nights that I don't shoot the ball well, so I have to rely on that. Um, and then also just attacking the basket, like you said, uh, shot big, because I know people know that I'm a shooter, so i got to figure out other ways to score. and feed the ball to Jordan, feed the ball to everyone else, and become a passer as well. I think the other thing, too, Carl, to speak to that, is that we we want to get them to the free throw line more. We want, we want to be able to score with the clock stopped when we're not having to try and score against set defense. Obviously, you're not allowed to defend free throws. They haven't changed that rule. So uh, if we can get them to the free throw line you know, a little bit more consistently, and uh, they're both good free throw shooters, so we want to get their uh, free throw attempts up this year as well. I saw this morning he's made your free throws. Chelsea was surprised. She surprised. Bricks last year looked, like, looked, looked very comfortable. She did. She looked yeah, more comfortable at the free throw line. Mm -hmm. um, aside from these two, has anybody else made an impression on you in particular? I would say everybody would say Allie, our freshman, has come in and really she's trying to stake a claim for some playing time. She she can really shoot the ball as well. Um, She's not afraid to shoot it, you know. She she's gonna she's gonna get some shots up, but she's also working really hard on the defensive end as well. as one of our better communicators on defense, so I think Allie's done a good job. Uh, it's nice having Megan uh, Carter back healthy, and and she has um, has done some nice things. Um, has the ability to really score the ball off the dribble, probably as effectively as anybody we have on our team. You know, can really create some things off the dribble. Um, uh, Marissa. Has has really come a long way. Probably the most improved player since we've gotten here this summer to to now. Uh, did some nice things in our scrimmage today. Uh, has has improved as a shot blocker and rebounder for us. Um, is making life a little tougher on Jordan every day in practice, and which is great for her. She's um, to be able to go against uh, a player that has some size and length and can can really affect her shots. So those are some players that are are, are have been making some some significant strides. I think. Like Rob was alluding to with all his new players, to, to kind of get ready for the match, kind of try some different things, try some different people. Type of thing. Yeah, I think we're going to have some surprising moments in the non-conference, uh, as well as probably some tough ones. You know, and, and that's part of the growing pains of a new staff, a new a new program, new terminology, all that type of thing. Uh, our our non-conference schedule is brutal. I mean, I, and I scheduled a tough schedule on purpose because I wanted to set a tone for the where our program wants to go, not just this year but in the future. Uh, I think we'll try and schedule a, uh, a challenging non-conference schedule every year because the goal is really to be at our best in, in January, February, and into March when, when it really matters the most. And so they're going to get tested in some new ways that they haven't been even yet. Um, and that's okay. Uh, it, it's, it's, we should go into MAC play this year not afraid of anything we could face because we're going to play some teams in the non-conference schedule that are just very good. So, so I think that, that hopefully that will breed some confidence. That'll be our job as a coaching staff is to continue to keep them moving forward. And even when we have some setbacks in the non-conference season to understand that there's a reason why we're, we're going through this process. And that's to be our best uh, in late February and March when, it, when, when the games matter the most. What's it like trying to being a leader on a team that's all new? I mean, as far as, as what you're trying to do, as far as uh, in a whole new style of play. What's up? How do you how do you learn to be a leader in that kind of situation? Um, I would say it's similar and different from last year. Uh, one of the biggest things that I think is great is that almost all of us are returning, so we've all played together almost besides Allie uh, for a whole year. So we kind of know each other and we know how to correct each other on things or how to speak to each other while we're on the court. Um, 
I don't know. I, it's different with a new coaching staff, um, but we just have to learn to adapt, I guess. Um, and I think we've done a good job so far doing that. Um, for me, for leading, just trying to become more vocal with the group. And um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Come naturally, are you a quiet person? Yeah, yeah not, being vocal doesn't really come naturally, but. How do you overcome that? Um, well, Coach Darkie has been working with us, and um, we haven't been having like leadership meetings and stuff. So just becoming more confident, I guess, and because um, I know what to say, I just keep it back a lot. So just express, just working on expressing what I have in my head. Yeah, they, they, they both have done a really good job of, of start trying to come out of their shell. You know, when you've got players that uh, do a good job of leading by example, you also need them to step up and be vocal when it's time. It, leadership isn't always the loudest voice. Sometimes it's the best example, and, and these two are, are great examples on the court by their actions. And, and now I think their teammates want them to be more vocal with them. They're, they're kind of craving their their ability to lead from a vocal standpoint and they're 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 improving in that area um, in, and they'll continue to get better at that no doubt. Just having Ellie make life easier for you. Is yeah, something? it's great having another shooter on the other side. She's gonna be able to pull defense um, on both sides of the floor. So I think it'll really open up things for me especially. Appreciate it. Thank you.